and Matthew, I forgot you, sorry, I read right over, Matthew Leonard, <laughs> brass captain. Great job this year on doing everything that you did for the band. Great leadership you provided and the entire band appreciates and loves you. So do I. Just wonderful stuff. Give another round of applause. Here. Joshua Paredes, star, bar, metal. Um, Armando Roche, star, bar, metal. Luke Ruane, star, bar, pep band, metal. Katona Sasahara, star, bar, pep band, jazz band, metal. So here we go. Your leadership team for next year. Now, there's no awards yet. You have to go through the leadership first before you get that. This is your charge. Okay? Um, all right, you already, you already know two of them. Drum major is Colin Fryer. Come on up. Drum major, Brian Cho. Band co-captains, Allie Lublin and Taylor Lemke. Brass captain, Jerry Kessler. Woodwind captain, Sammy Stoker. And we've got a new position this year, and, and I'll talk more about that later on, but uh, new position. Uh, band manager is going to be Senator Green. <laughs> Percussion captains, Josh Paredes, Lucas Williams, and Lucas Sloman. <laughs> Guard captains, Lily Xi and Ying Yip. <laughs> Operations officers, Madison Culver, Luke Ruane, Teddy Bartz, Logan Bowers, Alex Yeager, Will Leonard, Eli Etheridge, Josh Thacker, Jackson Mills. Yeah. Percussion leadership from this year. Thank you. Woo! And we do something a little different. We don't give out paper plates, we give away cups. <laughs> so, um. Okay. Our first one. Okay, so this is the Phineas Award. And yes, yeah, Phineas, as in the show that we all used to watch. Uh, and so this uh, award goes to a man who, or a kid, I guess, because he's, he's still a kid in my head. And um, so like Phineas and his counterpart, they always like go on adventures together and are so creative and do everything like that. And so um, this guy, we, we started our group chat over the summer and our group chat like nonstop was like filled with endless, can I say it? Memes. <laughs> and it 
it was just, I mean, it was pretty amazing actually. Like this amount of skill that it takes. You know? So the Phineas Award this year goes to Ari Allen. So Phineas wouldn't be Phineas without Ferb, and uh, there's a dynamic duo of freshmen in the percussion, and uh, that's Ari and Aiden. So Aiden, you have the Ferb Award to go along with Ari. Move on to our sophomores. This first sophomore is a. Uh, Dude, that's a lot of catchphrases, I guess I should say. Like, <sighs> gosh dang thing of an unfortunate situation. <laughs> Put it nicely. Some other weird thing she does with her lips. Can you guys do it? <laughs> kind of like that. So, the Girl of Many Catchphrases Award goes to Kendra Key. <laughs> Okay, so this next award is the Mr. Kim Award, and as many of you guys know, Mr. Kim is like a very perfectionist guy, and he's like, get on the beat or else. Um, and so, um, I picked this award because this guy tries very hard, like he tries really hard, and I really appreciate it in a pit, and like, no matter like, if he messes up, I mean, everyone if they mess up, like, they get down on themselves, but like, you know, pick, pick yourself right back up, and that's what this guy does, and so, uh, Mr. Kim Award this year goes to Luke Sloman. This is the all-in-one pocket knife award because, you know, like, all-in-one pocket knives, they can do, like, literally anything for you. Like, the one that I have, it actually has, like, a pair of scissors attached to it. So if you ever pissed off at someone, you can just go, like, go to the hair and just, you know, cut it off. So, um, this guy, over the course of three years, um, I was coming up four, he's played every single battery instrument, and this is also our upcoming drum majors. That's another thing to add on his list. And so the all-in-one pocket knife award goes to Colin Fryer. <laughs> Julius. Julius plays pretty good mallets, but she sometimes gets a bit angry if somebody's wrong, or if she's upset with people. And it's pretty scary to say the least. She has scared me quite a few times, to the, to the point I feared for my safety. So, the most likely to beat you up in an alley award goes to Julia Buck. And I'm guessing you can tell who this one is. So, this year, the drumline started this thing toward the back end of the year where we would wear a bit shorter clothes than normal people wear in practice. We uh, collected some short shorts from some of our female friends, and we wore them to the practices. But I think a lot of people agreed that the best short short award should probably go to Josh Brannis. <laughs> So finally, I've been around with this guy for like three years and sometimes I can't get enough of him and sometimes I've had way too much. <laughs> That's just putting it nice. Uh, so every time, like not every time, but like almost every time we have like these marching band rehearsals, uh, there's, one, there's one guy who like pulls up his drums, has to run to the sideline and like sits there for like a few minutes and we're all just like what's going on and then now we've gotten used to it. So. Um, but I mean, I think it's getting better. This year, this year wasn't too bad. So, uh, the Charlie Horse Award goes to Justin Ellis. <laughs> and along with our tradition of cups, we will be having Mountain Dew for the percussion as always. Red and regular, well, diet Mountain Dew. There was no regular Mountain Dew. 